How you doing YouTube? Matt, Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of lactose IPA, hopeful goodness. In the form of Icarus Brewing's Milking It. Um, I love this label. I just love the uh, I love the whole thing about it. It's one of my more favorite labels I've seen. It's pretty basic, you know, just milk kind of floating around with a couple hops. I like the contrast and the coloring, you know, the kind of pink and reddish tones behind the white and the blue and the green. It's just that, to me, is a very smart graphic design. I don't talk about labels as much as I used to. I should, just because I'm, there's so many copycats. And there's so many kind of really oh, trying too hard kind of labels that one, one really does it to me. It kind of just jumps out. And Icarus has actually been one of those breweries that's kind of done it across the board. Um, from this to their Go Flight and stuff like that, I really dig their, their, uh, their marketing. Uh, let's put it that way. So, um, yeah, I actually went to this brewery today. First time I've been there. It was quite nice. They had this on draft. I did not get it because I wanted to review it. Go into it clean. So let's do it. Uh, let's see. Like I said, milking it. Imperial India Pale Ale with lactose 8.1% alcohol by volume. Heavily weeded and oated Northeast, Ing Northeast Imperial India Pale Ale with lactose copiously. Dry hopped with experimental 09326 Columbus and Lupulin Citra. Gotta have that Lupulin, baby. The keef of the hop world. Like I said, love the labeling. Let's dive in. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze right now, so. Mm, you're gonna hear me sniffing like I'm a Coke addict for a hot second. Mm, I can block myself with the can, so it don't look all that weird. Um, anyway, uh, what do we have going on here? Uh, you know, not the prettiest beer as far as heads go. I mean, that's super fucking rocky stuff, like crazily rocky. Um, and but you're left behind with that super hazy orange core. You know, Wigan style IPA. Typicalness. Let's get a nose. Just big, green, icky, sticky, dry hopped kind of greeniness. A little sweet, kind of generic, fruited, leaning, tropical fruit sweetness. Not really getting much lactose on the nose. Maybe just a touch of it. A touch of soft little lactose vanilla vibes. Done and done. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's not bad. It's pretty tasty. You have this kind of nice, they talk about this copiously weeded and oat. And actually the wheat portion of the show really does come through in a fun way. It's a little bit of wheat graininess to it. I say that as a positive. I like it that you're getting this kind of distinctive kind of grain bill off of it, but it's not over the top. The hops are still the star of the show here. Big green, icky sticky wheat, um, dry hopped greeniness, like I said from the get, follows through in the taste. Not necessarily as big as the nose portrays, but it's definitely there and it's definitely the star of the show. Nice mouthfeel to it. Didn't expect that with how quick the head dissipated on it. Not the densest beer in the history of mankind, but quite nice in a very light touch. A very subtle dabble of lactose. Very gentle. Add something to the beer, but doesn't get too showy and kind of overtake the beer and make it become something that is not beer. Uh, it tends to be the kind of way beer goes nowadays. Uh, these beers get so crazy with their lactose additions that they end up becoming close to not beer, more kind of um, something other than beer than beer. Uh, but I dig it. I think it's tasty. It's fun. It's nice. It, it, when you think of lactose beers, a lot of times you think of these huge milkshake beers or these kind of super cream bombs. You're not going to get that with this. What you're getting is a dry hopped, well made, really well made, solid, dry hopped Imperial IPA with just enough lactose to add a little extra component to it without getting too sidetracked. That I think is pretty good stuff. I actually find it really impressive when someone's a little bit more reserved with these adjuncts, vanilla, lactose, all that stuff, especially in the kind of lighter beers or IPAs than getting too heavy handed with it. It's like that restaurant you go to that gets too enamored with truffle oil or even garlic. I love my, I love garlic. I love it to no end, but it could be too much. And truffle oil, we've seen it. If you eat out, man, you see that motherfucker who just falls in love with truffles and truffle oil. It's like, come on, dude, pump the brakes. 
I still want to taste my food for what it is. So uh, you s tend to see that sometimes with a lot of these beers. You're not getting that here. So that's nice. Um, now feel, like I said, it's nice. Um, it, it's not the, the most densest, creamiest thing in history. I mean, kind of like to see a little bit of work on that in the grand scheme of things. I think the head dissipating really quick. Assuming that might be a lactose thing, um, even though I've seen a lot of lactose beers not do that. I don't know if it's just the way they kind of do their beers, but I don't think that kind of lack of head kind of uh, diminished the beer or kind of uh, knocked the beer by any any means. But yeah, good stuff. Uh, let's talk about it. It's one of the better lactose beers I've had is like, not on the outside, not on the inside, just on the cusp. I've had much better lactose beers um, for me that skew better for me, but that's not saying this isn't a bad beer or is a bad beer. It's more I had a bunch that did better for me personally, so you know, can't put them all in there, but it, it, it's not worthy of being outside of that realm, hence being on the that 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 cusp, that line, that push. Um, the value, uh, I think it was eighteen dollars for a four pack, mm, standard market fare, and leave you with brewery only. Maybe I see their stuff on shelves, but I haven't seen this one. This one I actually picked up the brewery and leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like lactose IPAs, but you wish there was less lactose, or you like IPAs, but you wish there was a little bit of lactose in them, and you like your double dry hopped goodness, it's gonna foot all those bills. It's a really well made. DDH IBA. Done, done. So there you go. Another review in the books. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed a little milking it right now. And hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.